Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Today I am going to tell you a very basic step by step process how do you learn Selenium and a basic beginner's guide for Selenium. This is going to be very easy and interesting. I have got a lot of questions on it so I am going to tell you a very very basic and easy way. So the first thing is we start with a programming language and the basics of a programming language. Here I have written Java but you can use Selenium with Python, Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, any, anything. So whatever language you want you can select that and learn the basics. Now do not worry here I know a lot of you may say that we do not have a programming background, we are not from computer science background, we have never done any programming and so on. Do not worry it is very very easy and here we just have to understand and learn the basics. For example if I tell you about Java we just have to understand uh, in Java variables, data types, operators, conditional statements, loops, methods, classes and the very very basics of object oriented programming concepts and this you can learn from any online free tutorial within few days. So even if you have no programming background within few days you can learn these basics and that's all we need. As of now, we don't need to go very deep, we don't need to go very advanced here. So this is the first thing you will do. Second thing is, after you have done the basics of a programming language that you have to use with Selenium, second thing is, we will start with the basics of Selenium. Now again, you will get a lot of free online tutorials on basics of Selenium and basics of a Selenium web driver with examples. You can search this online and you will get a lot of tutorials. Here, basically, we have to understand and learn how do we use Selenium to interact with a browser and a browser application or a web application? For example, how do we use Selenium to uh, work with web elements or interact with web elements like how do we write a text in a text box? How do we select something from a drop down? How do we handle the alerts, pop up boxes? How do we check a, che a check box or how do we click a radio button etc. So the very basics of how to interact with web elements this is what we will learn as the second step. Then ultimately we have to design and develop frameworks with Selenium. Okay, So framework is like a platform where we have all the things we need for automation testing or a automation testing project including our scripts, the data, the extensions, libraries, all available in a structured way so that we can use it properly, we can reuse it, we can maintain it. So that is what we will learn here and here you can learn about, you can search and learn about JUnit, TestNG, Page Object Model Design and this will give you a clear idea of how do we create frameworks with Selenium. Now after this, once you have come until this stage, we can then start with some advanced concepts like data driven testing how do we use external data how do we keep our data in external files like excel file and use it in our frameworks and our project how do we uh, do reporting we can look for extent reports LEO reports how do we integrate these reports libraries in our framework and how do we use it how do we create reports and any other integrations that you have to do in your framework any other external libraries plugins that you have to add all this you will learn in this stage so if you uh, follow these things you will be at a stage where you can design develop frameworks you can work with selenium frameworks now to get started today you can always go online and search for courses tutorials blogs articles resources and most of these will be freely available then you can also use some cheat sheets and references so if i show you for example uh, let's say if I search for selenium cheat sheet so you can see here you can get a lot of cheat sheets here if I go to uh, let's say if I go to images you can see here this is how you can work with cheat sheets so you can see uh, this will give you uh, all these things how do you get started uh, the selenium locators test and JJ unit all these things you can do the functions so all this you can use here you can see this is another example driver initialization basics selenium locators so this will not only work as a refresher for you but will also be very handy when you are working in your projects and frameworks okay so this is what you can use and then always remember that you have to keep on learning as you go you will uh, you will face challenges you will face some scenarios that you will have to search and then troubleshoot so you have to keep on learning and 
uh, you have to practice practice and practice if you continuously do hands-on that is how you will learn without hands-on if you just watch a tutorial or just see something on on a web application or some resource that will not work so you have to practice and do hands-on and that will make you a very good automation test engineer with selenium i hope this was very useful if you have any other question for me you can let me know in the comment section for the next episode of ask raghav i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning